the struggle for admission to college was ended and I could now enter ready for whenever I please that before I entered college however it was thought best that I should study another year under Mr. Keith it was not therefore until the fall of 1900 that's my dream of going to college was realized I remember my first day of Radcliffe it was the day of full of industry for me I had looked forward to it for a a potent force within me stronger than the perusions of my love friends stronger even the pleading of my heart had implied me to try my strength by the standard of those who see than hear i knew that there was a obstacles in this way but i was eager to overcome them i had taken to heart the word of the wise roman who said to be banished from rome to but live outside of rome debarred from the great highways of knowledge it was complicated to make a journey across country by unfrequented roads that was all and i knew that in college there were many bypaths by the i could touch hands with the girls who were thinking loving and struggling like me i began my studies with the ignorance before i was so a new world opening in beauty and light and i felt within me the capacity to know all things in the wonderland of my i should be a free as another its people sensory manners joys strategies should be living tangible to interpreters of their real world the lecture halls seemed filled with the strips of great and the ways and i thought that the professors were the embodiment of wisdom i feel have the scenes learned dif- differently i am not going to tell anybody but i so discovered the card college was not cute the romantic serium i had imagined many of the dreams that had del- delighted my young exp- in experience became beautifully less and faded into the light of common days gradually i began to find there were disadvantages in going to the college the one i felt and still feel most in lack of time i used to have time to think to reflect my mind and i we would sit together of an evening and listen to the inner melodies of the spirit which one hear only a lucid moment when either words some lover pure touch a deep sweet chord in the soul that until then had been silent but in college there was no time to commune with the one thoughts one goes to college to learn it seems no thing when i enter the portals of learning i i leave the years to uh, process solitude books and imagination outside with the whispering pains i suppose i ought to find some comfort in the in the thought that my laying up treasures for future enjoyment but i am improving ego to prefer present joy to hoarding riches against the raining day my studies the first year or in were french german history english composition and english lecture in the french course i read some of the works of coralie moliere raising alfred de masset and saint bevi and in the german dosu jet and skleiner i reviewed rapidly the whole period of history from fall the roman empire to the 18th century and in the english literature studied critically milton's poems and aeropolitica i have frequently asked how i overcome the peculiar conditions under which i work in college in the classroom i am of course particularly alone the professor is as remote as fee he were were speaking through a telephone the lectures are spelled into my hand and rapidly 
as possible and much of the individuality of the literature is lost to me in the effort of keeping their race the word rush through my hands like hounds in purest of hair which they often miss but in this respect i would not think i am much worse or much worse or of than the girls who take a nose if the mind of occupied with the mechanical process of hearing and putting words on paper at the bell mel speed i should not think one could pay much attention to the subject under consideration or the manner in which it is presented i cannot make notes during the lectures because my hands are busy listening usually i ghost down the what i can remember of them i when i get home i write the exercise daily themes criticisms and how test and the mind emit here a final examination on my typewriter so that the professor have no difficulty in finding out how little i know when i began the study of latin prosody in revised and explained to my professor as system of signs indicating the different meter and quantities i used the hammond typewriter i have tried my machines and i find the hammond in the best adapted on the pencil needs of my work within the machine movable type shuttles can be used and one can have several shuttles each with the different set of characters greek french or mathematical according to a kind of writing one which to do the type worker without it i doubt if i could go to college a very few of the books required in the various courses are printed for the blind and i am obliged to have them spelled into my hand consequently i need more time to prepare my lessons than other girls the manual part taken longer and i have perplexities which they have not there are days when the close attention i must give to details chafes my spirit and i thought that i must spend half hour reading a few chapters while in the world without the girls are laughing and singing and dancing makes me rebellious but i soon recover my obesity and laugh the discontent out of my heart for after all everyone who wishes to attain true knowledge must climb the hill difficulty alone and since there is no royal uh, road to summit i must seek a zigzag with my own way i slip back my many times i fall i stand still i run against the edge of the hidden obstacles i losing my temper and find it again and keep it better i stretch on i gain in detail i feel encouraged i get more eager and climb higher and begin to see the winding horizon very struggle in a victory one more effort and i reach the elevation include the blue depth of the sky and uplands of my desire i am not always alone however in the these struggles mr williams world and mr e e allen principal of the Peninsula Pennsylvania Institution for the Instruction of of the Blind get for me any of the books i need in reside print their of the fullness has been more of helpful and encouragement to me than can ever know last year my second year at radisaif i studied english composition the bibles as english composition the governments of america and europe the odes of horace and latin comedy the class in composition as the placement in was a very lively and lectures were always interesting vivacious witty for the instructor my charles mr charles tosland cloplant 
more than my one years i have heard uh, until this year drink before your literature in all the original freshness and power for one short hour you are permitted to drink the internal beauty of the old masters without the needless interpretations or exposition you revel in their fine thoughts you enjoy with all our soul and sweet thunders of the old taste bent forgetting the existence of jawa and emla and you go home feeling that you have had a glimpse of the perfection in which spirit and form a devil in immoral harmony truth and the beauty bearing a new growth on the innocent steam of time this year is the happiest because i am studying the subject that especially interest me economics elizabethan literature shakespeare under professor george l kitridge and the history of philosophy under professor joisha rosai through philosophy one enters the sympathy of the compassions into the tradition of remote ages and other notes of thoughts which erafel seemed align and without a reason but college into not a universal themes i thought it was where there one does not meet in the great and the twice face to face one does not even feel their living touch they are there it is true but they seem you mean a fact we must extract them for the grenade wall of learning and design and analyze we must extract them for the grenade wall of learning and design and analyze them for we can be sure that we have a milton or elas and not merely a clever imitation many scholars forgot it seems to be me that our enjoyment of great work literature depend on upon the depth of our sympathy with and the upon the understanding the troubles is that every few their libraries explanation they stick in the memory the mind drops them as a branch drops it over a fruit it is possible to know a flower fruit and stem and all the process of growth and yet to have a appreciation of the flower fresh bathed in heaven's dew again and again i ask it impersonally by concerning myself with the explanations and hypotheses they fly higher and tighter in my thought like blind birds beating the air with the infernal wings i do not mean again the object to a towards through a knowledge of the famous workers i will read i object my only to the interminable comments and bewildering criticisms that teach but one thing there are a many opinions as there are men but when a great scholar like professor kitrent interpret what the master said it was a few new sides were given the blind he brings back shakespeare the poet there are however times when i long sweep always have i think i am expected to learn for the overtaxed mind cannot enjoy the treasure it has secured at the greatest cost it is impossible i think to read read in one day for five different books in different languages and treating of widely different subject and not lose sight of the very ends for which one reads when one reads suddenly the nerve and nervously having in a mind written test and examinations one brain becomes encumbered with the lot of choice break and brace of which there seems to be little use at the present time my mind is so full of heterogeneous matter that i must disappear of became able to put into water whenever i entered the region that was the kingdom of mind i feel like the proverbial bull in the china shop a thousands of odds and ends of knowledge
come crushing about my head like hailstones and when I try to escape, escape them then globules and college names of all sorts future me until I wish home may I be forgiven the wicked wish that I might mash that idols I came to worship but the examinations are the chief bugbears of my college life although I have faced them many times and cast them down and made them beat the dust yet they rise again and menace me with the pale looks until like Bob arise I feel my courage losing out of the my finger ending the day before those oral take place are spent in cramming your mind with mighty formula and indigible dates and platable dates until you fish the wish that books and science and you and science and you were buried in the depth of the sea. At all last the derailed house arrives and you are forward be indeed if you feel prepared and are able that the right times to call your standard thoughts that I will aid you the supreme effort it happens to offer that your trumpet call is unheeded. It is most promising and exciting that just the moment when you need your memory and a nice scenes of discrimination, these felicities take the themselves wings and fly away. You have journeyed with much infinite trouble, invariable fail you at the pinch. Give me a brave account to has his work, hers who was he and what did he do? The name looks tragically filmier. You ransack your budget of historic facts, much as the book been hunted for the bite of silk in rank back. You are sure it is more ever in your mid near the top. You so it where is other day when you were looking at the begin of reformations, but where is it is now? You fish out all manner of oaths and end of knowledge, revolutions, schemes, miraculous systems of government. But hers, where is he? You are amazed at all things you know which are not the examination paper. In dispersions of sites, the budget and the dump everything out, and there in a corner is your man sincerely boarding on his own private thought and consciousness of the cast pro which he has brought just then the proctor inform you that the time is up with the feeling of indulgence discerned you click the mass of rubbish into a corner and go home your head full of revolutionary schemes to abolish the divine rights of professors to ask questions without the content of the question it comes over me that me the last two three pages of this chapter i have you set fingered fingers which is still dead the laugh against me as her they are the mixed metaphors mocking and distracting about before me pointing to the bull in a china shop Assailed by hailstones, the bugbears with the pale looks and unlicensed species did them mock. The words describe so exactly the atmosphere of jolting, troubling ideas I have in the that I will wing at them for once and put on deliberate air to say that my ideas of college have changed. Will my days at the Red Cliff were still in the future, they were encircled with the halo of romance which they have lot lost, but in the transition of our romantic to actual, I have learned many things I should never have known had I not tried to experiment. One of them is precious signs of patience which 
teach us that should take our education as we would take a walk in the country leisurely our mind hospitably or upon open to impressions of every sort such knowledge floods the source and seen with the soulless tidal waves of deepening thought knowledge is a power rather knowledge is happiness because i to have knowledge broad deep knowledge is to know true ends from fails the lofty things from low to know the thoughts and deeds that have marked man's progress is to feel the great heart drops of humanity through the centuries and if you want does not feel in this pleasures heaven what striving or the must needed be deep the harmonies of life.